I can tell you, Ambassador uh, Volker was just unbelievably professional. Uh, it's it's sad for the United States to lose such a, a man of great integrity and, and talent. Uh, he was very transparent. I don't know that there was a single question that was asked today that he didn't answer and answer fully, which is unique. Uh, uh, and and what we do know is is there was definitely no quid pro quo. We, we will be providing uh, evidence uh, very shortly, uh, I, I believe this evening, uh, that characterizes that for Zelensky to get a meeting with Trump, uh, that Zelensky had to, uh, one, uh, investigate the 2016 election, essentially go back and exonerate Russia's role, uh, and two, uh, that Zelensky would have to investigate uh, Biden. I think when we look at, at, at the Bidens being investigated, it was very clear that they were never investigated as it relates to uh, their involvement or lack thereof. And I will say, uh, we saw further evidence uh, that there was a shadow shakedown uh, going on, uh, and that uh, the lead, uh, I would say, print the, the lead deputy for the president uh, was Rudy Giuliani. I can tell you that um, uh, you know any comments uh, that would uh, indicate that uh, there was some nefarious pr purpose on behalf of this president uh, was not backed up by the facts today. You have more and more evidence that the president of the United States was improperly using his office, using our taxpayer dollars uh, to leverage uh, help from an ally in our uh, upcoming 2020 election.